Hey guys, there's lots of digital products out there that take a long time to create, but today we're gonna talk about eight digital products that you can create in under an hour and start selling today. We'll discuss how and where to create them, how and where to sell them, and some of the pros and cons to each of these products. Now, the first two digital products are gonna be divided into categories, and each of these categories actually has several different digital products underneath of them. The first category is low content books. And within the category of low content books, there are so many digital products that you can create really fast and really easily. Low content books are things like journals, workbooks, notebooks that don't have a whole lot going on on the inside compared to a full length book like a novel or some sort of nonfiction book that you would write. With low content books, generally you can create one type of page and then just repeat or duplicate that page over and over and over again to create a full length book that you can publish on Amazon KDP or you can publish your interiors on Creative Fabrica or Etsy. So the first digital product that we'll discuss under the category of low content books is logbooks. Logbooks are anything that help you keep track of things. So you could have a logbook for water or a logbook to track your exercise or your workout routines. You could have a logbook for your car. When it comes to logbooks, you definitely want to have an idea of what's already selling well in marketplaces like Amazon KDP or on Etsy if you're doing some sort of downloadable, printable, logbook interior, right? But definitely make sure that you do your research. I do have a couple videos on keyword research. Actually, I have an entire series on keyword research that you can check out here if you wanna learn more about that. The keyword research is gonna help you understand what logbooks people are looking for that are not super high competition, but that have a decent search volume. Another digital product that falls under the category of low content books are journals. And journals are a lot of fun because you really don't have to do much with the interior. There are a couple different ways that you can do this. You can create a journal with writing prompts in it or you can just have a blank journal and it could be literally completely blank or you can have lines in it and really you can style that however you want to. But it's really, really quick and easy to create that interior. You just create one page and then you duplicate it over and over again. And you might add page numbers after that. But the fun thing that I love about journals is that you can create the covers yourself and you can do this through Canva, you could do it through Photoshop, Illustrator, really however you wanna do it, it's pretty simple but you can get really creative with the designs. But you can use that same interior and publish it multiple times on Amazon KDP or start selling it on Etsy and just create different covers for it every single time. So within just a few hours, you could have dozens and dozens of these journals uploaded to Amazon KDP and ready to sell. Another type of low content book is a workbook. And workbooks do take a little bit more time and energy because you do need to think about different question prompts and different interiors that are gonna help somebody work through whatever it is they're working through, right? So one example of a workbook would be a self-care workbook. And a self-care workbook might have seven prompts, it might have 15 prompts, and then you can take those 15 prompts and you can repeat them over and over again. So for example, you might have a set of questions that ask what you're grateful for, or you might have a picture of a heart, and then people can write in that heart how they're feeling today. But once you do have your prompts written out, then again, you can just take that chunk of prompts and you can repeat it over and over again. Some workbooks really shouldn't be repeated. Things like shadow work workbooks tend to be a little bit more intensive where you have a hundred different writing prompts and they're all different. And in that case, you would have to spend quite a bit more time and you'd probably want more of a detailed intro explaining how shadow work works and how it can help you and how you should be working through the prompts. And maybe it's a daily prompt sort of thing. So you give them something to do every single day for 360 days, who knows? It depends on how long your workbook is, but obviously that would take a little bit more time, would probably take more than an hour. But in general, workbooks can be pretty quick to complete. One of the really cool resources that I recently found is Creative Fabrica, and I did briefly mention this, that you can sell some of your 
KDP interiors on Creative Fabrica, but because other people also sell KDP interiors on Creative Fabrica, that means that you can go on there and you can take those interiors, some of them are workbook interiors, that are already completed for you and then you purchase them and you just make sure that you have a full POD license that's a print on demand license and then you don't have to make any sort of adjustments. The workbook is already created for you. So all you have to do is create a cover design and then upload it all to Amazon. Now, if you go into Creative Fabrica and you find some sort of interior that does not have a full POD license, but it is giving you a commercial license, generally what that means is that you're allowed to use those interiors or designs or whatever it is that you're purchasing, you're allowed to use those um, in things that you're selling and products that you're creating. However, you do need to tweak them and adjust them and modify them. Generally, you're using those designs or interiors as a part of a larger design. So you're not just selling that design or that interior by itself. Now, obviously there's not as much of a creative aspect when you're just taking somebody else's interior. It's not my favorite thing to do, but if you are looking for a digital design <laughs> that you can start creating and uploading and selling right away, that is a very quick and easy way of doing it. The fourth low content book that we'll discuss is planners and planners can take a little bit more time depending on, again, if you're going to a place like Creative Fabrica and getting a template that's already built for you, or if you're building it from scratch, if you're building a planner from scratch, you know, say a year long calendar, then you're going to have to design it and make it look nice. Otherwise, somebody's going to go to the dollar store and get a planner from the dollar store, right? Um, you want it to look nice and make sure that you've got all the dates in there and make something unique about it, right? Maybe add quotes about pigs or quotes about starfish, you know, make pick some sort of niche or some sort of topic that you can theme your calendar or your planner around and then you're more likely to get sales from that because there's already so many planners out there. It's going to be really hard to get people to find and purchase your planner if it doesn't have some sort of unique element to it. Now, the second category of digital products is digital art. And this one's a lot of fun for me because I really love the creative aspect of it. And there's two things that we're going to talk about in this category. The first one is print on demand. When I say print on demand, I'm referring to sites like Printify or Printful, which you can connect to an Etsy shop really easily. And the way that it works is you create some sort of digital design, you upload it to one of their products like a mug or a t-shirt or a swimsuit, and then you upload that to your Etsy shop, you connect it, it's super, super easy and quick. And then anytime that somebody from your Etsy shop purchases that mug or that swimsuit or that t-shirt, then Printify or Printful, they print it and they package it up and they ship it to that buyer. So it's really hands off. You don't have to do a lot after you've created the design and uploaded it to Etsy. Now, the reason I put this under the digital art category is because this really is for people who just love design. They love creating digital art and they would like to find a way to use that digital art. And this is just a lot of fun because like I said, you can create products with it, but not have to worry about the shipping and handling or inventory or anything like that. Now, the second digital product that falls under this category is just selling your digital art. And you can do that on Creative Fabrica, you can do it on Etsy, and you can sell it as a digital asset that other people can use as a part of their designs. So it might be something that they use as a part of a cover design or as part of a book interior, or they might use it for social media posts. That's one of the categories on Creative Fabrica that's pretty cool is the social media posts that are pre-made for you and pre-designed. And so then somebody can come in and they can purchase a set of social media templates or some social media posts and they all look very cohesive. They have a nice color scheme. They just look really nice together. And so you creating that with your digital design skills gives them a really easy way to create consistent social media posts without having to do a lot of design themselves. Another digital asset that you can produce and start selling pretty easily are mockups. Now you can create PSD files for Photoshop for mockups that you can start selling on places like Etsy or Creative Fabrica. And then people can take those mockups and pull it into their Photoshop accounts and just fill it up with their book cover or their t-shirt, whatever mockup they're trying to create. It is also possible to create simple mockups using Canva 
but it is a different design process. And I actually know somebody who does that, so I'll link her video up here as well, because I just recently found her video and thought it was a pretty unique way of creating mock-ups, because I always just thought that they were created in Photoshop. And the last digital product that you can create really quite simply and easily are invitation templates. So this could be a birthday party invitation or a wedding invitation. It could be a graduation invitation, and you could do several graduation invitations and then do several wedding invitations. You'll just need to make sure, obviously, that your template that you create is able to be edited. And then when somebody purchases your digital product through Etsy, for example, then they get that template and then they can edit it and print out their invitations. So as you can see with each of these digital products, the awesome thing is that you really don't have to do much after you put in that upfront effort. Obviously, in order to get some traction on your stores, like your Etsy store or your Amazon KDP, you do have to put some continuing effort in, right? You're probably gonna need to do some level of advertising, be building up a social media profile, get some sort of following, you may be running ads, and that does take some time and additional energy, but the actual creation of the product is pretty much done. And because of print-on-demand services that Amazon KDP uses and that sites like Printify and Printful use, then you don't have to worry about all the inventory or the shipping. It's just really easy after you've actually created the product. So I'd love to know in the comments if you've tried any of these so far and what you think, or if you have any additional digital products that you like to create and that you're able to sell. There are so many different types of digital products out there. These are just some of the ones that I've experimented with or that I've recently heard about that sound pretty interesting. But again, make sure that anytime you create one of these digital products, that it's something you enjoy. Because if you're just throwing out random digital products for the sake of earning a quick buck, you're probably not gonna make any money, to be completely honest, because it shows, right? If you just slap a cover on a journal and you publish it to Amazon KDP, probably not gonna get purchased. But if you do spend some time doing keyword research, looking for things that are popular in the marketplace right now or that are in high demand and that don't have a super high competition, plus obviously the added bonus, if it's something that you really enjoy, like you do enjoy creating cover designs or you do enjoy creating creative interiors for journals and workbooks, then it's gonna produce a much higher quality product. So as always, do what you love and keep creating.